I'm Paul Legron. Three days since Hurricane Elsa rolled through Tampa Bay and some areas are still seeing rising floodwaters tonight. McKenna King takes us to Northport. This is the scene affecting nearly 250 homes in Northport. We had an enormous amount of rain, upwards of a foot in two or three hours uh, during uh, Elsa. Then the rain moved north, but any rain that falls from Mayaka City south ends up right back here. Works its way down through Northport into Charlotte Harbor. A sweeper truck drove us through some of the worst flooding in the city. This water is nearly four feet deep in certain areas, and the city of Northport expects this will likely be their worst flooding event in more than 50 years. Nasty snake water, um, so it seems to be rising pretty quickly. Um, so we're just watching out for that. Michelle and her family moved to Northport a year ago from the Florida Panhandle, so they're used to storms. But this type of flooding on a, a residential street is new. And just up the street is Chuck Lowry. He's putting the finishing touches on his home before he moves in. It never had a moat. I mean, it, this it didn't even charge me extra for a moat. Luckily, the flooding throughout the city has not gotten inside any homes at this point, but officials expect the water will likely rise before it recedes. We also have a chance of rain this afternoon and into the weekend. Where that rain falls can have different impacts. The city is hopeful this will all be gone within the next week, but for now, they've opened a shelter and a helpline, and they've got sweeper trucks and boats moving through, rescuing people who are stuck in their homes. In Northport, McKenna King, ABC Action News.